Hey Earth, the other planets and I talked and it's time for an intervention. What are you talking about? Uh, it's about Earthling space trash. Uh, you can't just keep that all around you, huh? Imagine your dream of going to space finally coming true. You sit all excited in the spaceship as it speeds towards outer space. Until you spot an asteroid approaching you. Oh wait, that's no asteroid, it's an old satellite. In fact, there are plenty of them in space, including rocket remains, tools, cables. And wait, is that a clown? Space debris encompasses both natural meteoroids and artificial orbital debris. Parts of a spacecraft that floats in space carrying a risk of other collisions with satellites or a space station is what we call space debris or junk. In fact, a fleck of paint damaged a window in the ISS in 2016. These objects, particularly large ones like spent rocket boosters, scum to gravity and fall back to Earth. Just few months back, a 23-ton chunk of space debris fell safely, thankfully, into the South Central Pacific Ocean. Currently, over 128 million objects larger than a millimeter are orbiting the Earth. We have turned space into a junkyard. The European Space Agency estimated 170 million pieces of space debris in orbit. These pieces are larger than one millimeter and about 670,000 of these are larger than half an inch. Tens of thousands of satellites travel around 17,000 miles per hour. The chances of these satellites getting close to each other are a lot higher and collisions between high-speed objects in orbit can create thousands of pieces of debris and this could result in a chain reaction where more and more objects collide and create new space junk. It seems kind of comical, the idea that someday the Earth might actually be surrounded by some rings of space garbage, kind of like less nicer version of Saturn. But it's a real possibility. Hey Earth, the other planets and I talked and it's time for an intervention. What are you talking about? Uh, it's about Earthling space trash. Uh, you can't just keep that all around you, huh? Uh, yeah, uh, it, it doesn't go with my look, right? But what do I do? These humans just don't listen. So what are we going to do about it? Some humans do listen. Scientists around the globe are planning to develop the devices that could help to burn down the unused parts in space itself. The US government has been exploring the potential for supporting in-space servicing, assembly and manufacturing capabilities. Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency initiated the world's first debris removal mission. But it's a global problem and countries need to come up with solutions to tackle the ever-growing risk of space debris. If nothing changes and the amount of debris continues to grow, it will become impossible to clean up the lower Earth orbit. Now, weren't we planning to go to Mars? Oh, uh, can I move to another galaxy, please?